Well, this is our third day here already. That's my G5 RV. Um, we're going to pack up and head out tomorrow, so I kind of want to get this G5 RV down now so tonight I don't have to do it. So, way up in the tree there. Remember, I have it tied off over here, and I've got one leg over there and one leg over there. So the first step <coughs> is to disconnect the legs or the coax. <coughs> Probably going to make room here. This is my water containers. I think I'm going to make room on the table to wind it up. Shaggy's sleeping on the ground again, getting all that crap on his fur. But he likes it, so oh well. Yeah, the first thing we have to do is undo the legs. And I'm pretty, yep, yeah, we're going to leave tomorrow. It's our third day. I'm not sure if we're going to camp in Thermopolis yet or not. It's kind of expensive there. And I know how tired I am when we leave Yellowstone Country in a month or a half or two months, whatever it's going to be. So I'm just connecting the uh, legs right now. That leg's disconnected. And I know when we come out of Yellowstone, we always shoot for Thermopolis. And I'm really beat at that point. Everybody kind of is. So it's nice to go to the RV park there that we stay at and just veg out for three or four days. So what I'm thinking of doing is conserving and saving those days. I'm trying to disconnect this for the way home. You don't want to tangle these legs and having to hold the camera. I'm going to put the camera down. Okay, the two legs are disconnected. Now the problem is we're we're around that rope up there, so I'm going to I'm going to move this so it's not around the rope. Okay, now we're free from that rope. So we got one leg over there and one leg over here. You want to try to keep those pretty separated so they don't get tangled when you pull this thing down. It's kind of sad to be undoing this, but that's just the way I roll. I mean, I'm not going to do it in the morning. I just disconnected the coax. And we'll just move the coax out of the way. Normally what I would probably do if I wasn't making this video is I would probably wind the coax up. It really doesn't make any difference, but that's just the way I would do it. Okay. It's a little windy today. Now all we have to do is loosen it from where we have it supported. See, it's a little windy. The ladder line's kind of flying around. I don't want to get it tangled. And that lock up there is the weight that's going to bring her down. It's kind of a bummer. You really can't pause these videos. At least I don't know how to do it. Um, let's put the camera down and I'll talk. I'm tying the knot. And I make a special type of knot that I made in the military, so it's not too tough to undo. And it's still fairly strong. Okay. Now. Okay. Okay, it's coming down already. See the weight? See, they're getting tangled. That's what I don't want. It, it, it turns into a mess if you tangle it. In fact, making the YouTube video is kind of making me not make uh, mistakes because <laughs> it's hard to do both things at once. So you want to keep these legs separated. And 
and all we have to do now is we got to be real careful with everything and make a mess. Okay, there she comes. That's all there is to it. Everything's a little more tangled than I want it to be, but if I leave it just like that, then I can wind everything up and it won't be tangled. Or if I want to, I could just hoist it back up in the air. So what I'm gonna do now is kill the video so that I can wind these legs up and this ladder line before it turns into a tangled mess. It's already a little more tangled than I'd like it to be. And I just use a little bit of uh, electrical tape to keep things secure once I wind it up. But that's all you gotta do, there's the rope. And once I, once I get everything wound up, I disconnect it here from the where the apex is and pull the rope back over the tree, wind the rope back up, and we're good to go. But that's how you take down a G5 RV and uh, keep everything from becoming a tangled mess. If it does start to get tangled though, I will pull it back up and tie it off a little bit and then wind the legs up that way, but I've got it separated. So I'll upload this and we'll get a shot when uh, everything's wound up. We're clear.